his first attempt at stand-up, so please be kind, he says. <laughs> please give it up for Kyle. My name is Kyle. Kyle is a uh, strong Scottish name. It means handsome, so that worked out. There's <laughs> a lot of pressure to put on a kid, though. You give him a name like that, because what if they don't live up to it? And is someone going to show up one day? And, Hello, Kyle. Terribly sorry. We're with the Name Bureau. You're going to have to repossess that name because you no longer qualify as a Kyle. <laughs> because you're just too fucking ugly. <laughs> From now on, you'll be named Kennedy, which means misshapen head. <laughs> That's a real thing. The name, the name Kennedy actually means misshapen head. So you've got to wonder about the parents that use that for their first child. Just imagine a nice Scottish couple. The mother gives birth. Doctor takes the baby, hands it to the father. Uh, look at my beautiful baby. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Would you look at that head? That is a misshapen head. My wife's calling out, can we still call him Kyle? Fuck no! <laughs> That's a Kennedy if I've ever seen him! <laughs> I did find out in, in college, though, uh, that Kyle actually is a word in Gaelic. Gaelic is the ancestral language in Scotland. And as a word, Kyle means a watery passage between two points of land. In other words, a strait. So Kyle means handsome and straight. <laughs> Which means my parents were just fucking greedy. Because <laughs> that's what you're doing when you name a kid. You're giving them this ostentatious over-the-top meaning, hoping that they'll rise to the occasion. And let's face it, they don't. <laughs> most of these names mean, you know, chosen one or uh, bringer of peace, but most people are just assholes. <laughs> like the name, the name Megan means um, generous and, and kind. I know a Megan. Even for a toddler, she's a bitch. <laughs> the only name that's safe is the name Richard. Uh, Richard means a strong leader. So if you don't become a strong leader, well, you're probably a dick. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice naming kids. I have four kids of my own. Let me, let me rephrase that. I have four daughters. <laughs> very, very different. You tell people you have four daughters, or four kids, and they say, Oh, wow. You tell them you have four daughters, and they go, oh. oh wow. So I have uh, twin eight-year-olds, a five-year-old, and a two-year-old. And I like to take them places. I like to take them, you know, Home Depot with me, get them out. And I always get comments. People come up and say, wow, looks like your hands are full. And I say, no kidding. I had six. These are the survivors. <laughs> so child services visits us a lot. <laughs> If you can't do the math with my wife, that's, that's five women that I live with. So things are very complicated. <laughs> things that you wouldn't think were complicated. Things like laundry. I used to have whites. And now I just have pinks in my clothes. <laughs> it's like all of my clothes went and got sunburned. <laughs> or sleeping. I regularly sleep with five women at the same time, and it is nothing like I imagined. It <laughs> it's usually just six hours of somebody kicking you in the face until you go, why the hell is there a foot on my pillow? And who the hell does this belong to? It's like unknotting twine, just bodies and limbs everywhere. So I started actually taking a sheet and I'll tuck it under me and I'll roll off the side of the bed like a, like a hammock. And I got the dog sleeping right below me and we're both just praying, dear God, let that hold. <laughs> They've also ruined comic books for me. I'm a, I'm a big comic book dork. Um, so I used to grow up and look at pictures of, of Wonder Woman and I'd be like, damn, Wonder Woman is hot. I mean, she's basically fighting crime in lingerie. It made me want to be a bad guy. <laughs> now I'm going through these same books with my kids trying to get them interested, and I'm like, damn, girls, Wonder Woman looks extremely well read. <laughs> you know, she's also an attorney in her alter ego. <laughs> it means if you work hard enough, you could be an Amazon warrior princess and a successful litigator. Hashtag girl power. <laughs> The biggest issue for us is bathrooms. Five women, you need bathrooms. So we moved out to the middle of nowhere about five years ago because we couldn't afford a second bathroom in Orange County. <laughs> so now we have five. Five bathrooms, five women. Works out perfect. But I'm starting to get a little bitter. I'm starting to feel like I got ripped off because I paid for five bathrooms. I also paid for five bathroom doors. 
which nobody seems to want to use. <laughs> it's like I'm constantly walking through the house making eye contact with an eight-year-old taking a shit. <laughs> she just stares at me. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you like me to close the door? No. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad that I have this image in my mind for the rest of time. She's going to get married. I'm going to walk her down the aisle. Everyone's going to see a beautiful bride. I'm going to see an eight-year-old taking a shit holding on to my arm. <laughs> and for me, it's actually it's become a group event going to the bathroom when I go because I'm the only man, so everyone wants to see... What's that all about? <laughs> so as soon as I close the door, it's like a dog whistle goes off, and they all just come running in. But if I try to lock it, they just pound on the door like the house is on fire. So it's like, all right, 20 questions. Daddy, what are you doing? Daddy, why are you standing up? Daddy, why are you sitting down? Daddy, why don't you wipe when you pee? Daddy, what's that little thing? Wait, wait, little? <laughs> what are you comparing it to? <laughs> Did your mother say something? <laughs> And with the two-year-old, we're trying to potty train her, so she's gotten this idea in her head that you're not supposed to wipe your own backside. So during this, she's sneaking around the back trying to wipe my ass, and I'm like, Jesus, <laughs> fucking Christ, can I get some fucking space? Just give me a minute. And it's, it's worse trying to take a shower, because my shower in my master bath is literally just a giant glass display case. I need to stand in and be observed. I'll get in, there'll be nobody in the bathroom, I'll be doing my thing, turn around, there's all four of them, <laughs> just standing there, watching. They got long blonde hair in their eyes that looks like children of the corn at the movie. <laughs> this one's got popcorn, that one's over there videoing me with an iPhone. That one's drawing a project of me for school, and the baby is just attached to the glass like a, you know, like a Garfield cat on a window car. <laughs> God, guys, can I get some fucking space? <laughs> but I gotta, watch, I gotta watch what I say, I gotta watch what I talk. Because the two-year-old, she's like a sponge and a parrot. She absorbs everything, and then she repeats it. It was only uh, not that long ago I got a small little fender bender, and she's still walking around the house going, son of a bitch, motherfucker. <laughs> son of a bitch, motherfucker. <laughs> and my wife just glares at me. <laughs> Two-year-old's interesting. We're, uh, we're halfway through potty training, which I'm ecstatic about. It's my last potty training. I'm looking forward to a day when I can actually look at my hands and not go, is that shit? <laughs> How long has it been there? <laughs> I didn't have chocolate. <laughs> so we're halfway through. It means we got number one down pat. It's number two now. That's the problem. Which means she's always in underwear. So my wife and I are always just praying, please don't shit your pants. Please don't shit your pants. <laughs> We've got underwear hidden everywhere, backups all over the place. I'll be at the gym getting dressed. I'm pulling Dora the Explorer panties out of my pocket. <laughs> the other guys are just staring at me like, Jim, if you don't call the cops on this pervert. <laughs> but it's become something of a game now. And this is how the game works. She will tell you every single time that she has to go. And you have exactly 12 and a half seconds from that moment until it happens. So you better bust your ass. Or it's clean up on aisle four. <laughs> to make it more fun, three out of every four times is a false alarm. But trust me, don't play the odds. <laughs> so this is how it works. This is uh, a couple nights ago, making dinner. <clears throat> she runs in, daddy, daddy, caca. Okay, all right, well, let's, let's go to the bathroom. Come on, get you in there. All right, sit down. Daddy, no caca. <laughs> okay, that's, that's fine. You, you feel it again? We're going to try again, all right? You go on your day. All right, go back to the kitchen, pick dinner up off the floor, <laughs> bite the dog for the chicken, turn on the stove. Daddy, daddy, caca. Oh, okay, all right. Herbal the dog. Let's go. Get you on the potty. Daddy, no caca. <laughs> You're fucking with me now. <laughs> okay, okay, it's fine. Um, we'll try again later, okay? All right. Go back to the kitchen, bite the dog for the chicken again, put the fire out on the stove. Daddy, daddy, caca. Son of a <laughs> okay, heard of the dog. Get her to the bathroom. Eight year olds taking a shit. Close the door. <laughs> up the stairs. Five Legos. One dismembered Barbie later. Get her to the bathroom. Daddy, what? You go. Oh, you want your privacy? Hey, I respect that. <laughs> All right, you tell me when you're done. Daddy, what? Close the door. <laughs> Finally. I would be proud. Close the door. Now here's the fun part. You're gonna wait till she's done. 
then you're gonna do the most awkward thing in all of parenting. You're gonna go in, you're gonna look at what she's done, and then you're gonna celebrate it. Like she scored a touchdown in the NFL. <laughs> she's literally just allowed gravity to work. <laughs> so she calls you when you go in there, oh my gosh, she did a boom board in the potty, hooray, hooray, good job, I'm so proud of you. And she looks up at you with those big beautiful eyes, eyebrows furrow, and she goes, can I get a fucking minute? <laughs> <laughs> That's my time, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.